This is BBC World News. I'm Lewis Vaughan Jones. Our top stories. At least 49 people have been killed and dozens more have been injured after a gunman opened fire during Friday prayers at two mosques in Christchurch in New Zealand. It's the worst mass shooting in the country's history. Thank you to forgive me for interrupting. I'm just going to jump in here because we are just seeing on our screens right now. This is the moment uh, that he is returning. Handshakes and an arm round the back there as he has crossed that border crossing. Uh, a little more detail on this. This is just coming through in the last uh, couple of minutes. Reuters saying that Saudi Arabia says a fight broke out between Khashoggi and people who met him in the consulate and led to his death. He claims that ballot boxes interfered with, forms altered. Can you definitively say now on camera that none of that happened? All the results are counted properly, and then the, and then the results are announced. We are you prepared? To, are you prepared to be transparent the now? Then are you prepared to be transparent and release the breakdown of all the results? It's Newsday. I'm Lewis Vaughan Jones in London. Also in the program. Well, let's stay with this story. It's a hugely significant day in the States, of course. Donald Trump saying no collusion, no obstruction. Uh, he's half right, isn't he? The idea that we had some kind of intelligence, uh, maybe as long as 10 days ago, that these attacks could happen, mean there will be lots of questions now. I love the fact that they cut from pictures of two big gorillas to pictures of me and you, Rico. I'm sure there's absolutely no <laughs> comparison. Do you know your 550 times tables? I do. I do, Lewis, and I'll give you the answer after the show. OK, that's it's, very, it's very good of you. Well, I'm not particularly good at numbers, but I know there is only one Rico. Hello and welcome to BBC World News. We start uh, with the news that the former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan has died. He was 80. On the line uh, is a former US Secretary of State, Madeleine Albright. Uh, thanks so much for being uh, with us. First of all, I just wanted to ask, what's your, your thoughts, your reflections when you heard the news? Well, I obviously was... OK, I want to take you to Sri Lanka now, where armed police have raided the headquarters of one of uh, the two Islamist groups suspected of involvement in the Easter Sunday attacks. OK, we start with driverless cars. They are on their way, whether we like it or not. Rico has been crunching the numbers for us. Uh, Rico, what yes, can Lewis. you tell us? You've got to ask yourself what the South Korea and US are doing, calling them the Max Thunder. I mean, that is hardly... <laughs> yeah, that's, you know, if you're that's looking hardly... For peace, that... I think we need you on the negotiating team. Uh, you're wasted in your role <laughs> as a reporter. The field is fairly wide open, actually. OK, I've written all those down, Barbara. I will check back in to see how you did with those predictions. Thank you very much. Keith Kang, thank you so much for your time the truth is out there somewhere finally some rare good news uh, from here in Washington but I'm afraid right. economic sanctions are in place against North Korea very tough and testing times ahead and the what, self promotion what, what place never stops well it means a lot and it's the best in the world there's nothing like it anywhere in the world so it's great for Scotland the Prime Minister had asked the country to remain in the EU but the British people chose instead to leave and David Cameron said he therefore morning, had to do the same they don't have a leader. They also don't have a deputy leader at the moment. As you can imagine, James, there aren't too many people who would take too kindly to being described as economically illiterate. There are lots of marginal seats the Conservatives won in the last general election. Well, Do you not accept you cannot, the Conservative you victory? You claim you've just been given the job so that Jeremy Corbyn doesn't have to have a fight over Trident. I, I don't know why Jeremy gave him this job. Mike Bushell, the BBC News at Blenheim Palace. Yeah, apparently Mike nearly missed those championships. He was cutting things a bit fine. Big seniors. So they only mate every two to three years. Pandas. Big paws. If you believe you can do something, you can achieve anything. Oh, an amazing man. I'm completely biased. I wear a hearing aid and I struggle just to read out loud. Uh, so watching him and what he, he does is impressive. Anyway, get in touch with me on Twitter. I'm at L Vaughan Jones. I'm Lewis Vaughan Jones and this is BBC World News.